We're back with the Infinity Stone Collectors LEGO League, and they have some really interesting things to show us. First, obviously, you can see coming on the right side, all these awesome trophies. Can you guys tell us what you won those for? Yes. Um, the, the big LEGO trophy is our um, World Championship one. This one is our Project Award. Um, the other s smaller LEGO one is our Robot Performance one, so we got the most amount of points. Wow. This one is our innovation project as well. And then the other one, like this, is our robot performance. So we won robot performance and innovation project twice. And then the one in the middle is our um, overall winning for um, our qualifier. So we got to go to state. So can you tell me first about your robot? What is it about the robot that obviously was very successful? Because you guys won a trophy. Our robot's name is Bob, and <laughs> so our it's Bob, yeah. <laughs> and um, the one thing that we mainly look for is c robustness and consistency, because the more consistent and the more robust it is, mistakes can happen and you can get points off of it sometimes. So can neat. you explain to me what robust means for people who don't work on robots? So um, if like, so we use these things that like we can line it up, and the robustness is if it's lined up differently, or if it it has errors and like if it goes over a bump and it puts it off track, it, it'll still do the mission and get us points. So okay. how, many how many hours altogether did it take you guys to build these robots? Well, I don't even know. Days? Like two months? Practices a um, week, yep. And we've been doing it for how many months? I don't know. Core values and project practices are um, every Tuesday and then um, robots every Friday. Did you guys all cumulatively come up with the idea or did you guys have a set plan of, oh, we got to make it a robot, or did you get like free range, or? You, so, you well, want to explain? Uh, yeah, you, you can do anything with, like, with the robot for, to do the missions. Like, you mm -hmm. can add attachments, like right, he, like right there. Mm -hmm. um, like over there, yeah, you can add oh. attachments to help do the missions. It's pretty neat. Yeah. So it's a specific yeah. board that everyone uses that has mm -hmm. certain missions to accomplish for points. Oh. And so they yeah. design the robot piece uh, with Lego pieces only, that is our stipulation, mm -hmm. and then they build attachments specific to each mission. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you were to pull something down or push something into a particular circle, mm -hmm. that type of thing would get us generate us points in our robot game. Do they actually like put in a machine so the Legos can move? I think that's so neat. So yes, yeah. there are motors. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to explain them? Like a um, couple motors. Mm -hmm. so yeah. So um, these are the two wheel motors which move the wheels right here, mm -hmm. and then um, on the front, the this motor can. Uh, move the arm like that and then yes. we have two color sensors so we can like use um we can go up to lines where th from where they're at and um we have another medium motor in the back which can control this arm and then in the middle we got a gyro sensor which is also like a gyroscope so it measures angles and it makes things more precise right mm -hmm. And my Neat. husband, Eric, is an engineer and the robot coach, yeah. so I have to give him credit for helping advise yeah, the kids. Absolutely. Um, but the kids, yeah. you know, will program each motor, knowing mm. when to turn each motor on, knowing what to do with those motors. That's part of the coding process. I think I see a lot of future so. engineers here in the room right now. <laughs> yeah, or leaders or problem solvers, yeah. for sure. So is this related to the shipping container problem that you were trying to solve? Can you show yeah. us how this yes. works? Yes. Um, so you well, you can so the first. problem we found was like the shipping containers getting lost to the sea. They end up losing a hundred and fifty million dollars a year mm. on lost goods. Wow. So um, we created a like a dunnage bag where it's permanently attached to the inside of the container, made of TPU nylon, which is like flame resistant, waterproof, um, and stuff. And then we fill it with nitrogen. And then um, so it if you were to put something in here, it would stop all the shifting, and it won't work and it won't shift anymore. Um, the, this is like a zoomed up version mm -hmm. of, that, of one of those bags. Mm. And the, the way you install it is um, you, you have the, the, you the have rod, this rod that yep. is, this is it's welded yeah. to the container. Yeah. And then you slide it in like this. Oh. 
Wow. Nice. And, and then it's capped in on both sides. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Well, we're yeah. definitely going to have to invite you guys all back on the show yeah. sometime soon to show us some more of your really cool, neat ideas. Tell so us there's how the World Championship went. Absolutely. Well, coming up next in the Today Show, does the perfect game food exist? Our next guest thinks so, and they have it.